In the next video, we're going to learn how to factor quadratic trinomials. That process can be a little convoluted, and so to get started today, we're going to look at an activity called finding numbers. I'm going to give you two criteria, and I want you to find the integers that meet those criteria. In this exercise, I want you to find two integers that multiply to 14 and add to 9. Now, perhaps you can think of your multiplication facts fairly quickly and come up with the two that multiply to 14 and add to 9, or perhaps you want a strategy. The numbers that multiply to 14 are 1 times 14 and 2 times 7. Don't forget, of course, that we do have negative numbers, negative 1 times negative 14 and negative 2 times negative 7. Which pair adds to 9? 1 plus 14 is not 9. Negative 1 plus negative 14 is not 9. However, 2 plus 7 equals positive 9. 2 times 7 is 14, and 2 plus 7 is 9. The numbers that meet these criteria of multiplying to 14 and adding to 9 are the numbers 2 and 7. Now, if you're looking for a calculator strategy that could be helpful for this, let me show you one. We want numbers that multiply to 14, so x times y equals 14. If we get y alone, solve for y, we divide both sides by x, and we have y equals 14 divided by x. y equals 14 divided by x is exactly what can help us. If we go into our graphing calculator, start a new document, and add a graph, and then put into the function 14 divided by x, and hit enter, we get a funky looking graph like this, but I'm not interested in the graph. What I'm interested in is the table. The pairs of numbers given in the table are numbers that multiply to 14. 1 times 14, 2 times 7. You'll notice there are other numbers later that involve decimals or fractions. I'm not interested in those because I'm looking for integers. If I scroll up in the list, I'll notice there are some negatives as well. Negative 1 times negative 14, negative 2 times negative 7, and anything that does not involve integers, I'm not interested in. And so I can always find my integers by looking in the graphing calculator, putting the number 14, or whatever number we want to multiply to, divided by x, and then scrolling up and down the table. Let's try another exercise. Let's find two integers that multiply to 18 and add to 11. Can you find these integers? Pause the video here, see if you can find two numbers that multiply to 18 and add to 11. Let's see how you did. We have 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. And of course, we could have negatives as well. Negative 1 times negative 18, negative 2 times negative 9, negative 3 times negative 6. Perhaps you got these from your graphing calculator. If you did, no problem at all, that's a great way to get them. Which pair adds to 11? 2 and 9. 2 times 9 equals 18. 2 plus 9 equals 11. The numbers are 2 and 9. Let's try another exercise. Let's try some bigger numbers. Can you find two numbers that multiply to 56 and add to negative 15? Pause the video here and let's see how you do. Did you find them? Possible candidates that multiply to 56 are 1 times 56, 2 times 28, 4 times 14, and 7 times 8. Also, negative 1 times negative 56, negative 2 times negative 28, negative 4 times negative 14, and negative 7 times negative 8. If you had trouble coming up with those integers, don't forget you can always go into your graphing calculator. We want numbers that multiply to 56, so we put 56 divided by x in our calculator, and we scroll up and down the list to find the integers. Which pair adds to negative 15? Negative 7 and negative 8. To verify, negative 7 times negative 8 equals 56, and negative 7 plus negative 8 equals negative 15. The numbers are negative 7 and negative 8. How about another exercise? Can you find two integers that multiply to 64 and add to negative 16? 
Pause the video here and see if you can come up with those two integers. Remember, you can always use your graphing calculator. Let's see how you did. Possible candidates that multiply to 64 are 1 times 64, 2 times 32, 4 times 16, and 8 times 8. We also could have negatives. Negative 1 times negative 64, negative 2 times negative 32, negative 4 times negative 16, and negative 8 times negative 8. Maybe you came up with that list from your head, or maybe you used the table in your graphing calculator. We wanted numbers that multiply to 64, so we put in our graph 64 divided by x, and we scrolled up and down the table. Which pair adds to negative 16? Negative 8 and negative 8. To verify, negative 8 times negative 8 is 64, and negative 8 plus negative 8 is negative 16. The numbers are negative 8 and negative 8. Let's try one last example like this. Can you find two integers that multiply to 27 and add to negative 12? Please pause the video here and find the integers. Possible candidates include 1 times 27, 3 times 9, negative 1 times negative 27, and negative 3 times negative 9. We wanted numbers that multiplied to 27, and we could come up with those from our head, or if you wanted to, you could use your graphing calculator. 27 divided by x, and then look in the table. We need the pair that adds to negative 12. We look through our list and identify negative 3 plus negative 9 is negative 12. We verify. Negative 3 times negative 9 is 27. Yep, that's good. Negative 3 plus negative 9 is negative 12. That looks good too. The numbers are negative 3 and negative 9. Let's take a look at another example, this time a little bit different. So far when we've multiplied, we've always multiplied to a positive number. This time, let's multiply to a negative number. We want two integers that multiply to negative 48 and add to negative 22. Keep in mind that when we multiply to a negative number, we're going to have one negative and one positive. Numbers that multiply to negative 48 could be negative 1 times 48, or 1 times negative 48, negative 2 times 24, or positive 2 times negative 24, negative 3 times 16, or positive 3 times negative 16, negative 4 times 12, or 4 times negative 12, negative 6 times 8, or 6 times negative 8. That's quite a list of numbers, and in this case, the graphing calculator was actually very useful. We want numbers that multiply to negative 48, so in the graph, I put negative 48 divided by x. I'm looking for the pair that adds to negative 22. That would be negative 24 and 2. <clears throat> to verify, I have 2 times negative 24 equals negative 48. That looks good and 2 plus negative 24, which equals negative 22. The numbers are 2 and negative 24. Let's try another one. Can you find two integers that multiply to negative 10 and add to positive 3? Pause the video here, see if you can find those two numbers. Let's see how you did. Possible candidates are negative 1 times 10, or 1 times negative 10, negative 2 times 5, or 2 times negative 5. Those weren't not very difficult numbers to come up with. Now, you may have used your graphing calculator, and if you did, you would do negative 10 divided by x into the graph, and you would make your list. We're looking for the pair that adds to positive 3, negative 2 and 5. To verify, negative 2 times 5 is negative 10, negative 2 plus 5 is positive 3, the numbers are negative 2 and 5. Here's another one for you to try. Can you find two integers that multiply to negative 63 and add to 18? Please pause the video here. Let's see how you did. Possible numbers could be negative 1 times 63, or 1 times negative 63, negative 3 times 21, or 3 times negative 21, negative 7 times 9, 
or 7 times negative 9. Again, you could come up with those numbers out of your head, or you could use the graphing calculator. Numbers that multiply to negative 63, we enter negative 63 divided by x. Which pair adds to 18? Negative 3 and 21. To verify, we have negative 3 times 21, which equals negative 63, and negative 3 plus 21, which equals 18. The numbers are negative 3 and 21. Today's exercises will help you to prepare for the next step in factoring when we factor a quadratic trinomial. The process we just went through is actually the first step in that process. Remember, you can find more information about factoring in Mr. Dory's Algebra Handbook at www.dorypublications.com.